Okay, this is this is going to be a very complex hunt. All right, so we are getting ready to head to New Orleans for what? Your 34th, 35th college reunion. 35th college reunion. Tulane and, University. And our 30th. 34th marriage anniversary anniversary <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, i can't believe it so let's go it's going to be a long drive we're driving not flying yeah so, yeah almost there this was jen's jennifer's school at tulane was the freeman school of business your school Jennifer's Business School from the from the eighties. Hold on, come on. I'm a racing, I'm a racing our conversation. Oh my god. Different modes of transportation. Will you be home between this is a place that I've been wanting to visit for a few years now. Talk about a candy store. Look at all these gas lamps. Beautiful. Mostly, mostly copper gas lamps. I love it. This is a company that I had found online. It's in New Orleans. And uh, I was intrigued about it with the idea of getting some gas lamps or a gas lamp. And uh, here I am in New Orleans visiting this business. I think it's Bevelo or Bevalo. Let's see. There's the craftsman out here that makes them. Can I film? Absolutely. Okay. Do you make these lamps? Yes, I make them, and, and we have about 50 people doing as well. Wow. There's 100 people that work here. About 20 so uh, they'll do exactly what I do here. One of four shops. That's the only one you can visit. Okay. Yeah, I just stumbled on you. What are you making now? This is a 21-inch French Quarter, which is our biggest seller. Mm -hmm. This is the one that the business was started with, a uh, uh, sketch on a napkin. How about that? Yeah. Over a beer or something? No, no, no. Mr. Bevelo had opened his shop this after World War II using surplus tools that he brought from uh, the Higgins shipyard and building landing craft during the war. He started the business on Toulouse Street. GIs would come in there and they would bring him lights from Europe that they brought home. Oh, they would crush. He'd fix them. Eventually, a, a very famous southern architect by the name of A. Hayes Town came into the shop, and he and Mr. Bevelo sketched this light on a napkin. We started building for him, and here we are, 78 years later. Today, we're the oldest company of our kind in the United States. Wow. Bevelo is pronounced. Yes, they are. Originally from northern Italy. Came to New Orleans in 19... No, came to the United States in 1917. Okay. Well, I've, I've been intrigued, surely. I've been walking into these things in the French Quarter since I'm about five. Where are you from? Uh, well, I'm from Burbank. <laughs> okay, cool. But my parents are from here. My grandmother was the treasurer of the cathedral in the oh. six, 60s and 70s. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Well, we send a lot to California. It's one of our top five domestic markets. It hasn't been all that long ago. Maybe four years. One of the caretakers of the cathedral came in, and one of the keys was broke. He thought that I would be able to fix it. That's to those big doors up front. Yeah. And he laid them here, and the key ring was this big, and the key stuck way over here. And it was, I, I took a picture of it. I don't know where that picture is. Wow. I, it was an amazing sight. I was, anyway, I was just by there, and I was sad to see the state of the facade. It's kind of is it really? falling into disrepair. Yeah, oh. ferns growing, and the, and the uh, louver vents are all kind of falling apart but i'm sure they'll get to it yeah they do once in a while they you take care of it goes. yeah i'm glad i don't wake up in the morning and hear somebody say hey it's time for you to go up on these spirals and repair these spirals <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, there, that's, that's a younger man's game i think thing. yeah a... i'm coming up on uh lafitte's blacksmith shop 
which we visit just about every time we come. It's a very old New Orleans fixture. You know, Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop. So I'm on Royal Street, and <clears throat> this is the first place I got mugged when I was, actually I was a boy at, at about nine, and some kids, I think there were schoolboys, maybe from here, but they were ruffians, and two of them held me my arms and he leaned me back against this post and the other one punched me standing there. This is what I recall. And they, were, they said, give me, give me your money or some such. And I didn't want to give them the money that my, my I was visiting my father who lived down here on Barracks and he told me to go to the health food store to get him some molasses or granola or some crap. And I was on my way. And just as these kids were roughing me up, uh, uh, an adult on a 10 speed stopped right here and he said, what are you kids doing? And they let me go and ran off. But that is the story of the first time I was mugged on the streets of New Orleans. And pretty traumatizing at the time, but you know, you gotta, you gotta go through some stuff. Where this girl is set up as an artist is where I used to set up as a young dude and do my uh, charcoal drawings for tourists' portraits. You just, you just have to be from here to get that. Dressed and undressed. This is Haruni. The artist is here working. Haruni, are you are you shy? You don't want camera? Can I do this? Okay. This is Haruni. His paintings are pretty striking, and uh, I just happened in and saw he was working. And I just wanted to show a little of his work. Pretty amazing. That's a workspace. That's a work in progress. Haruni. This is art. I told him to me, this is art. Okay. Okay. Cool. I mean, I guess if you if if you like that sort of thing, it's pretty, right? So just so beauteous. How do they keep them so healthy? Oh, you buy them and throw them away after a week. Yeah. When they get old, they throw them away. It's kind of like a museum. Shoes wisely, they say. Because it's an investment. Yeah. It's like oh, the yeah. Star Trek shoes. Four twenty nine. Star Trek. That's very nice. Handmade. Yeah. 
I really like these. If I were a clothes horse, I'd be walking home with a pair of these. You would? Ugh. I wouldn't let you. There's the designer. Flubik. Ah, Flubik. Slave exchange in the bathroom. And it's funny that this looks fake, like decor, but this is literally a hole in an old brick wall where they put another part of this restroom. Isn't that cool? It is old. This is was reputed to be an old slave exchange, this business that's now a restaurant. I've got another story, and we'll head outside and we'll see that. The other story took place right here. Do you know that this is the restaurant and bar that my dad made me get his, his bike for him? He had his bike chained to that pole right there, and he... He drank uh, a lot of booze with, with a few people. And then he said, go unlock my bicycle. And he ran out on the bill. When I was about eight or nine, he had his 10 speed chained to this post, or this one. And he said, uh, after he drank his fill, he said to me, Jason, go outside and unlock my 10 speed. And he gave me the key said and get on the crossbar and so I had the bike and I got it the chain and I wrapped the chain around the seat and I stood the bike here and I, I got on the crossbar like so and he jumped on the seat and pedaled away to his apartment <laughs> yeah, he was apparently it was okay for him to cheat yeah uh, and teach his child to do that teach me to, well I, I hold no grudge just an interesting story. And there's uh, Napoleon House where we were going to eat. But they're closed, and why are they closed? Because it's your 35th reunion, right? And they're having a function for you there tonight. Yep. And you're not going. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't want me to see your old boyfriends? Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> no more water for her. Son Noah is taking us on a tour game. of two legs. Tell me, tell me about these. The so, robots. Yeah, they're called Kiwi bots. You order from your phone, and um, and they like put like open the top. You put food in, and then it like goes. It goes to like your dorm. So it'll like. It'll literally go and go in the elevator or up the <laughs> stairs. It'll go to the lobby. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your food's here. Yeah, and it's it's really cool, and or it's fun because they, they got little faces. Like, look, don't see, don't you guys look look. look don't you guys wish you had these? Oh, yeah. Jen. Oh, what is that? That's how we would have gotten our streetcar sandwiches and our beef. Oh, my God. Sandwich. And that just goes to you? Well, they made you live in an old building? Yeah. yeah. I, live, I live in the oldest. Like one of the you oldest. Know what? So you're one of the poor kids. Yeah. Okay. Freshman suffering. I mean, you know, yeah. like, you don't suffer. Because I'm, I'm really high up. Like, you have to see my room. It's from I see. Second from the middle. It's like that one. Nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. I saw the laundry. It is not changed. You want to slip into a dorm room? Or go back to my apartment on Red Street and visit my waterbed? <laughs> that, that was a miserable experience, that waterbed. Kind of, it reminds me of a federal prison. Yeah, it is like that. Yeah. We used to say that, too. Yeah. You that? When my dad was in the wall, these Trojan things over nothing. here, Noah. Nothing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that is great. Don't look at his roommate stuff, Jim. Okay. 
Are you sure? You can look at okay. this side. Okay. I like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Sure. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I said. Uh, Happy anniversary, baby. Got you on my mind. All right. So today is our 30, what? 34th anniversary. Four years. <laughs> thank, thank you. I am honored. Thank you. I am honored. Okay. And 30, 34 years ago, you and I were fishing right over there. Yes. When we used 35, to. 35, 36 yep. years ago, yes. We're on the back of Lake Pontchartrain and we are heading into Slidell and then we're going home from a, a trip to New Orleans, which came off without a hitch except for the horrible accommodations of the merchant lofts. The merchant <laughs> lofts, one of the worst we've experienced. But never bad. mind that. We're, <laughs> we're done with that. Water under the bridge. That's right. That's right. So home we are headed. We're going to Atlanta first. To have to uh, we're going to Buck, Buckhead. Industry. Yeah, Buckhead is a uh, an area in North, in North Atlanta, and then we're going to go to Virginia Highlands it's going to, be so to have fun. dinner. And I'm starving. <laughs> You're starving. Yeah. Well, not right now, Jen. We're going to be there tonight. I know. Yeah. Now. Now. We'll just go across the street for a beer if there's a long wait. Otherwise, we'll go right in here. I said, what are you hoping to win here? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> No, they're not cold, Jennifer. They're all about Path Blue Ribbon at Moe's and Joe's. So this, this is the most Pabsty, Pabsty bar I've ever been in. Pabsty? Oh, oh, we're so sorry. Did you miss us? Oh, oh, buddy, we're fine. Oh, he's, he sounds like he was very concerned. I know, he was squealing.